our nail phase. We got our nails done like every two weeks. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We were like. Not as getting into the trauma. <laughs> but like not. Okay. I got like. What'd you get? Do you ever just get like? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you say that was like? Um. Oh, a mosquito on my ass, and I'm there like, is that a sound? On my ass, and you're like, is that a sound? And I was like, no, nah, bitch. <laughs> Welcome to our play. <laughs> Hello, testing, testing. Ah! 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 Man. Men, 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 trash, men. Trash, 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 <laughs> trash. Mic check. Mic check. One, two, one, two. I, I, one, two, one, two. <laughs> oh, yeah, not too close. So, like, around here. I think, yeah, I think yours goes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> we don't have an intro, though. We just made one up. Oh. Are we gonna do that? Yeah, we'll do three, two, one. Welcome to Swila with your host, Swana and Mila. Okay. Okay. One, one two, two, three. three. Welcome, Welcome to, to Swila with your host, Swana and Mila. Period. Ah. Welcome to our podcast. This is my bestie, Mimi. I call her Mimi, but your name is. Well, it's Milagros. It's really long. And bougie. And, right. Um, <laughs> you knew the origin of this, of that name. Well, maybe you... we'll get into it. Maybe but basically, we'll it. we decided to have a podcast because we find that every time we chat, it's just, it's, it's too good. It's too good. It's juicy. And I know for a fact there's a million other besties out there that do the same thing and they're like, oh my God, we should start a podcast. Why not? It's such a good, like, way to celebrate your friendship and it's such a good way and to also like, to look back imagine yeah. when we're like in our retirement home oh and we're listening to this about like what we did when we were 20s yeah. we love it so it's kind of giving good luck charlie yeah yeah it's kind of giving good luck. but charlie also and, like think of our kids watching this but yeah. then, no but that'll be cool yeah maybe yeah, not yeah. when they're five yeah but like <laughs> but like when they're older they like could be teenager cute. vibes yeah we'll wait till they're 16 and oh, we'll see yeah, we'll we're see not about there that. Yet. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, no, we're not. So I like we thought that like we could just have different episodes. You can comment what you guys want to see on this podcast because mm -hmm. we are starting fresh. But in this episode, we thought we would talk all about our friendship, yeah. how we came friends, and all that kind of good stuff. How long ago was that? Oh, that was eight years ago, I think. We we stuck with 2016. Is that eight years? Yes, we just celebrated. Yeah, eight years. yeah, we yeah. just celebrated with the eight and everything. Yeah, so it's eight years. I'll insert pictures, but like, yeah, yeah, we celebrated eight years, and that was really cute. Yeah, we did like a whole sleepover. But is it technically 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024? That's eight. That's eight. Okay. okay eight yeah, years. Eight. Okay, let's let's reel oh, it wait. back. Were we wearing these exact PJs? Yeah. That's did we take pictures in them though? No, we did not wear these. We wore these for Christmas? I think it was Christmas because we like did all the whole matching and went out and yeah. shopping and stuff. Okay, so let's really back to 2016. Let's go back all let's the way. Let's go back in town, baby. Um, not too far. Actually, yeah, yeah, not too far. Yeah. But like, I actually want your point of view and then my, like, do you know what I mean? Like what I thought of you? Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I guess thought of each other and then go into like, Okay. Because I feel like I knew of you eighth grade. No, oh, okay. ninth grade. But eighth I feel grade? like you remember me in seventh and eighth grade. Not seventh. I remember seeing you in eighth grade because we had the same classes. We did? We shared both teachers. Remember, it was like Yeah, that. same teacher. Yeah. We shared the same teachers. Um, so I saw you in the hallway because it was like our lockers were like really close. Like, like I saw C &B. you with the girls. Yeah, I saw you with the girls, but we never chatted. We never like did anything. I and then remember. ninth grade, I don't think I remember you in ninth grade. <laughs> Weren't we in the same class in ninth grade drama? Were we though? I don't think Is that in ninth grade or is that tenth grade? I think that's tenth grade. Oh. Well then I guess tenth grade is my earliest memory. I just grade, remember drama class. But drama no, I don't think so because drama class was ninth grade was like a huge class. Uh... Remember everybody had to take it. It was either that you took or you took like music or you took like you had to take. That's like, true. We had to take some type of art. And okay. I think we chose, there was two classes. There was one first semester, second semester, and it was like, what, 30 people? Facts. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay, so yeah. earliest memory is like 10th grade. 
I guess I think 10th grade is because we had the same classes. We knew of each other. Mm-hmm. We like, hi, hi. Yeah. Type thing. Bye, bye. But like, but yeah. Like, but like nothing crazy or nothing, like. Nothing, no. Until that one school field trip. Yeah. What what mended our friendship Ooh, was that sex. school field trip. Oh, oh. You weren't there. Oh, we have to introduce Buddy. Oh, this is Buddy. This is my dog, Buddy. This is my best friend. It's our bestie. I love it, Debbie. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, so we had this field trip, and basically it was to see. Uh, okay, so basically, the, if I remember correctly, that field trip was our drama. Play. Yeah, it was our drama and French classes. Yeah. It was merged together, and uh, to watch like this theater, like we had to go to a theater, a play. yeah, a play, and we'll see it, and then we had to like, anyways, yeah, school stuff, and. <laughs> We, because we were in our drama, we didn't have to follow our French classes. Yeah, we could sit wherever we want. Yeah. It was just one we big stayed, group. We stayed with our drama. That was mm-hmm. the thing. And we were waiting for the bus. <laughs> and I, I I always felt like I was very much, I, I, I you know, I like people. People like, I, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. People <laughs> like me. Um, but I always felt like I was alone in general. Like when mm-hmm. high school wise, I always felt like I was alone. So when it comes to school buses, I never knew where to sit. Who to sit with or sit where to go. And I didn't really mind who to sit with because I, I thought everybody was, like, super nice. Yeah. But um, I was <laughs> trying to avoid somebody that day. Yeah. And not nothing against that person. It was just I was having that uh, type of day where I was, Where like, I don't feel like sitting with I, them and yeah, talking. I was, and that person is very, like, talkative. Yeah, and I think I was very, like, in a bad place at yeah, that point. And not in like, a good oh, mood. No, exactly. So I really didn't want to, like, sit with anybody. Mm-hmm. And we chatted. No, whoa, back, backtrack, not back, even. Back completely. Me, like, I also was in that same mood that day of just, like, I don't know who to sit with because my friends, I don't think we're even going on the field trip. They weren't in that French class or something. No, they were in French class, but they had to go on a different bus. A different bus. bus. Our drama had to go on one bus together. Yeah, like and, that. like, there was one person that, like, I just didn't feel, you know when you just don't feel like talking to people? Like, you just want to be on your own. Mm-hmm. So... Me and her, we were kind of standing near each other. I think we did yeah. we say hi or something. Yeah. Like we were just kind of chatting. And then my person that I'm avoiding is approaching me. And I I can see that they are trying to sit with me on the, the per- bus. The person that I was avoiding was approaching me too. And I we hadn't decided. We were just chatting. We were having yeah. a lot of fun. Talking, talking about something else. I don't even know why. And they both approached us, I think, at the same time. I and we both. <laughs> and, then we, and then they were like, do you want to sit with me? And we both looked at each other. We're like, we're oh, like, we're sitting. We're sitting was, with each other. But that was the first moment where we, like, connected. Connected. And, and we're like. We're like, we are sitting. We are, we are yeah, doing we this are one. We are one. We are one. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then we chatted the whole bus. The whole bus. Right? The About whole our life bus. and like date. Oh. <laughs> Not the low battery. Not the low battery. Okay. Okay. We chatted about like, wait, let me get comfy again. Yeah, get yourself comfy. We chatted about like. Boys and school and life. Life, and, what we like in life. And, and we like, realized we both loved organizing. Yeah, that was the first thing I think we bonded yeah. on. It was like that organizing was so wise, and I always thought you were such a fun person, but I didn't know you. Oh. And I was like, in my head, everyone likes Tawana. Like it oh was like God. very much like everyone likes. So I don't, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say a bad thing about you in oh my school. God. And I was like, well, she seems so cool. Mm. I was like, Maybe I'll be friends with her. She's not gonna Stop. like me. And um. Obviously, very like sixteen year old me. Yeah, um, insecure too. But the I second was so... we started talking, I asked for your. That was the first time I ever asked for somebody's number. Really? You were the me. Best. I just thought you were so cute and like fun. Aww. And also, there was no one that I could bond on organizing and like having life plans yeah. and like. So when you were talking like that, I was like, oh my god, I finally found someone that's like me. Yeah. In that sense, and I always thought you were so cute and. Oh. No, because um, like I had my my life planned. Me too. Since I was like fifteen, whatever. I we like, were young. I knew my job. I knew where to go for school. Like it mm-hmm. was like to the T. It was, to but the it, it, it's weird because most people in their twenties like they don't even think of that stuff. Yeah. Whereas like for you and me to have that planned, 
I was like, oh my god, I finally son- found someone that's similar. I think I think it's very much like a trauma response. It's yeah. It's, I I I saw a TikTok about it. I Ooh. know TikTok is not the best, but I saw I trust more TikTok than anything else. Yeah. And I saw a TikTok about it, and it was like it was a, it's a trauma response, and it really? makes sense planning because, everything because we were raised by single mothers. That's true. You know, and we were like not as getting into the trauma. <laughs> but like, not that we were trying to avoid it, but we were like, okay, like. Obviously, that's not. But that's something we can control. Yeah, that's that's not the path that they wanted to go on. Yeah. So let's let's fix it for them. Let's Mm -hmm. let's, you know, and like, (laughs) you're the you're the you're an only child. Yeah. I'm the oldest child. Like it's very much like. That's so crazy. Yeah. Sixteen in the block, running up and down the block, crazy little girl. Yeah. And then we went on the field, and there was actually well, your person was trying to get into our conversation multiple times. Yeah. And, like, invited it to, to, to her yeah, pool. Yeah, I felt really bad because I was, like... We I, were so I liked, bonding and I connecting. I liked her. I really yeah. did. But I was really trying to bond with you because yeah. I was, like, yeah. I felt something. We had that moment. Yeah, that and I was, moment. like, shoot. The day I have a moment like that with a man, I'll know. Ooh, I'll know it's real. Yeah. You'll know that it, it, it's it, passionate it, I was, real. like, if I do not get this girl's number, I will never speak to her ever again. Also, what other opportunity would we have? Because we no. weren't in the class, same class yet. No. And like. And then I feel like our paths like ended up just, al- aligning together. Like, but you remember how you were saying of like, when the person's meant to be in your life, you're in the same life path. Yeah. I feel like that's when it merged, that field trip. Because then we started having class. Also, together. imagine if I was late. Imagine if you were late. Yeah. Imagine if anything else happened, we wouldn't have connected like we did on that field trip. No. Um, and I remember like years into our like friendship, we looked back to see what day that field trip was because that's when it like mend our what was that again was it a april april 6th oh that's our anniversary but we had to look back like i remember us going like on that school website thingy where you can see your field trips and stuff yes yes i remember you did that yeah Yeah. and we found the date yeah so yeah that's our anniversary is april 6th 2016 which is a bunch of sixes i do recommend celebrating your anniversaries like i think it's cute even though it's so hard the only reason why we were able to pinpoint our anniversary was because it was a a, an a event. date, an event. It was, it was an yeah, event but most we people, it's pick. not. No, and I think like make one up. Make like, one why up. Not? You know, like pick a day that's cute. Yeah, it's. I feel like it's so cute, and it's a way it's, to like cherish yeah, your friendship, enjoy each other. You, yeah. yeah. And why not romanticize your life like that? Might like, as well. I feel like that's that where we're in actual relationship, like in in romantic relationship. Why not? Why not friendships? Yeah. So like, especially the ones that you want to keep. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Even though you're the only person I do that with. <laughs> Literally same. Yeah. But like we're our person. But I don't key, think... I feel like if I did that with somebody else and you did that with somebody else, you'd be I'd like, be what? pissed. Why I'd be so pissed. That to me? So pissed. I'd be like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Anyways. What do you mean? But yeah, so that's how we became friends and yeah. that's how we're Swila. And how I'm did we come up? Yeah. <laughs> How did we come up with Swila? We tried to merge our names and they were so ugly. They were so ugly. And then we found Swila and it just made sense. It kind of came together. Yeah. Oh, somebody's Not snoring. Not sleeping and snoring. But yeah, that's how we became friends. And we day ones every... Well, we're, well, no, we're more like day... How old were we technically? 16. 16. Or 15. No, 15. So we're day 15s. Yeah, because we have late birthdays. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we should talk more about like our individual selves as well. But like right. me, Swana, that's my name. Mm-hmm. Um, October twelfth is my birthday. Right. Funny enough, my birthday is December sixth. So twelve divided by six. Nope. Divide twelve times two. Time two. <laughs> well, well, divided by six is two. Huh? 12 divided by 6 is 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but you said 6 divided. I was like, where are you going? No, it's the same thing. Oh, okay. Anyways, makes sense in my head. Yeah. I love that. Um. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. Yeah. But also the fact that our anniversary is April 6th. Yeah. Like there's a 6 in there. 6 and 12 always pops up. Yeah, for always us. Always pops up. And I love that. Yeah. What else should we tell them about ourselves? I feel like favorite color is purple. Favorite color is pink. <laughs> Her, um, what else? Oh, Wednesdays. Oh, so, yeah, we need to go into yeah, like our friendship and things like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. After high school, mm-hmm. it's very hard to stay connected with your friends if yeah. you're not 
in the same school in the same city yeah. in general and she went to toronto for school and mm-hmm. i stayed in ottawa for school and we said okay let's let's catch up weekly mm-hmm. and we tried to do weekly and sometimes we'd skip and like there was this one moment where we skipped months and it was months month. of not talk- no like it was like it two was three months of not talking yeah. but we were both going through it we were at the same time at the same time and we didn't good, chat yeah, yeah. It was not a good and time. me was it was more hard for me because obviously i was a new city new school new everything mm. so i felt really lonely but also trying to figure out my school schedule and all that stuff so i was just kind of going through it and then you in college i was yeah i was in college and i, I think, just figure it out yeah i was just trying to figure it out like it was yeah it was i don't know why i don't remember exactly what why we were going I was, through it? i was just going through i think it might have been like exam. yeah anyways so we tried to do like a weekly thing and i think we decided on thursdays well no before we even got there we facetimed once and we chatted for like three yeah, four after hours we went through like a really rough patch individually we talked for like hours like it was like a three four hour facetime and then we we're like yeah. you know what we need to do this weekly we said we cannot do that ever again. ever again we need to stick to a day like a weekly schedule yeah we need to like and we're very like organized people and yeah, like really we like we don't chat spot every on. day and if we do it's like here's a tiktok here's 15 yeah. here's a- mm-hmm. how many are there how many yeah. are there counted them myself six counted them myself <laughs> but um yeah and, and at that point we weren't like chatting every day it was more and i remember i used to keep a note on my laptop but also i think what made it different was we were starting to get close because if you think about it it's like yeah we were that was the field trip was 10th grade right yeah and we were slowly getting closer together slowly more hanging out and then boom we graduated yeah so it was like kind of make or break at that point so i feel like us doing our weekly schedule and time really like mended our friendship and i don't think people realize how it's, hard it it's is not well yeah hard but it's also a completely different thing and high yeah. school you're a teenager when yeah you, you hit, like, now we're adults now here you're adults the transition is because people grow up people yeah. mature people like change their life paths and ch- change Facts. their habits and sometimes friendships don't last not because that person's a horrible person but just because we're not in the same life. paths or yeah, wavelengths exactly. yeah it's not you just fall out of it like Facts. naturally or something like that and yeah but what was our day before it was thursdays it was thursdays why did I, we switch it uh okay so it was thursdays initially because you had a strict like gym Oops. school like it was the only day where we were both both free, free because and like school was different yeah. I think Thursdays was more my free day. Uh and I couldn't do Wednesdays because Me and my like, Wednesdays yeah. it was like classes back to back to back to back. Mine Wednesdays was were busy. Classes. Mine was I think I think I worked in the morning, went to class and then went to cadets. We were like I like oof. it was a whole schedule thing. Yeah. And so it was Thursdays at first and then we were like let's never do that ever again. Yeah. We were so miserable. We're like we need to stick to Thursdays. Yeah. And then when we but Loki, life was getting better as we were doing yeah. weekly. And I'd get excited to catch you up oh, and try same. to make notes. I remember we had notes yeah, in our phone. I remember having, having notes on my laptop. <laughs> like, oh, I need to update her on that. Like, I'd be in class and something happened. You're like, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> I'd type it. Oh, and uh, do you remember when we used to take notes because we had the same classes in yeah, high school? And we yeah. took notes for, like, each other? Psychology, each psychology, psychology and civilism. My, yeah, psychology was my my note taking and yours was gestion gestion yeah yeah and we would take notes and, put, and then like we would share them basically and put them together yeah we'd put them together we'd share them we'd we were them on our shit it was let's also, bring that back why was that the best class the best grades best grades and we were was good at it thing. yeah so we decided thursdays and that was for at least for university and college yeah yeah basically um and you were in college for two years me three yeah i graduated first mm-hmm. and for me my schedule became like normal so i was yeah. like whatever works for you and then you graduated came back to toronto to ottawa to right? ottawa god <laughs> um, i moved back yeah and then we started doing i think wednesdays yeah but what made us switch do you know i think it was your training yeah well this fridays and you used, you were going to a gym yeah that other gym but then i switched back to it was training like, yeah and, and thursdays i don't know it wasn't my office days yet 
Right. It wasn't yet, but it, it was like you were really busy on Thursdays and Wednesdays yeah. was like perfect for me because I had nothing on Wednesdays. Facts. Okay, my, so we switched to Wednesdays and then we'd actually start to hang out now because a lot yeah. of times it was just virtual yeah. and then from there it was history. Yeah. Wow. And Wednesdays is our day. Wednesdays we wear pink. And honestly, I think yeah. we'll upload these podcast episodes on Wednesdays. That makes sense. Not, maybe not every Wednesday. We don't know the schedule yet. Yeah. If we want to do weekly or bi weekly or how many we'll be able to. But yeah, that's true. yeah, we have a cute little setup. We're at her house. Yeah, this is my um, home. We have matching pink thingies. We have Pepsi. Ooh, let's talk about our Pepsi journey, huh? How about that? Okay. So <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a <laughs> pop drinker. I don't like pop. And when people come to my Wait, home... Wait, Amazon... It's, what's it called? ASMR? ASMR? <laughs> Are you judging? You can have it. Okay, go ahead. Oh, wait. I want to also show we have... I she make made homemade chips. She's Nara Smith, y'all. I she wish. made her... Oh. I was oh, the anyways. dream. We should do a video where we, like, try Nara Smith's web- recipes. Or, like, try to be like she her. She gum. I want to do that. No, me was the cough drops. Yeah, that'd be so the hell. Sorry, continue what you were saying. Um. So okay. So I'm not a. I I don't necessarily like pop. It's not. It, it's something I'll I'll drink, but it takes me forever to finish, and it's like an occasional thing. When I first moved out, I wanted everybody that came over to have their own drinks because I don't have drinks. I don't. You know, I don't have pop. I don't have juices usually. Like it's not something I carry, and so I wanted when people came over that it wasn't just like, oh, you only have water. Like mm-hmm. that's just. So, uh, what? it started off with, buddy, buddy, not the booty buddy, hole, buddy. What is that? Come here, come here. Okay, go. I wanted people to come over so they could have like their you know, own drink. I want to. I want to be. What was mine? Canada Dry. Canada. So I started off with Canada Dry, mm-hmm. and at a certain point, I think I ended up getting Pepsi. I don't remember for what. Uh, so my sisters had their own drinks. She had her own drink. My mom had her own drink when she came over, and um, and then I ended up getting Pepsi. Pepsi started in this home. Yeah, it wasn't in the other one. We just drank it one time when we were hanging out, and I was like, I think I got like a can of Pepsi. It was like a, a little tiny can yeah. of Pepsi, and we put it in these cups. And then I had swell these cups. cups. I had these cups that I got from Costco. Sponsor it. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I hope Costco sponsors us. That'd Costco be great. Oh. Anyways, okay. so <laughs> I have. I also have an ice machine. Mm-hmm. So I think the combination of the That's ice right. cubes with the Pepsi and the that cups. I get from Costco specifically with that cup, it just tastes completely different. It's bust, y'all. And I don't know why. It just. It just hits. Any other cup does not taste the same. Mm-mm. And what's funny about it is Pepsi, only Pepsi goes in those cups. And we always just drink it together when we're hanging out. But there was one time Ooh. where we drank Y'all. so many Pepsis and we were wired. We felt like we were on Tell drugs. We were 23 years old when we found out there's caffeine in there's Pepsi. There's caffeine in it. I, am I don't know if it's just with co- caffeine for myself. Like I only drink it in the morning as my routine. I'm not. Sir. I, I only drink it in the morning, not for anything religious wise. Oh, I thought you took like, Pepsi in the morning. I no, was like, oh my god. What? No, no, no. Uh, coffee. Yeah. But it's only like on weekdays, and it's just because it's part of my work routine. I don't drink coffee on weekends. It's just not for me. Yeah. And so when we're wired on Pepsi. Like, and on Thursdays, I have to go in the office, which means I have to go to bed early on mm-hmm. Wednesdays. And we could not sleep. I would, after every Wednesday, every time she we'd be here. I'd be exhausted and I cannot go to bed. I cannot fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> then I found out that Pepsi has caffeine in it. But, and... but it was just one time I was just like looking at the can and then I see caffeine and I'm like. What was the other ingredient? Caramel? Was it yeah, caramel? there's caramel in it. And I was like. No wonder. No wonder. No wonder it We're so wired. Good. But we love it. And yeah. now we limit ourselves. But yeah, Pepsi is our drink. Wednesdays is our day. And my homemade chips are our go-to. Yeah, our go-to snack. Yeah. And we love that we can like pick what goes in it. Yeah, I just I was never really a fan of chip wise, other than like baked chips, mm-hmm. because they always had this really weird taste for me. Like I didn't like the greasy chips. Yeah. Anyways, um, it was a preference for mine. Like whatever. Like, yeah. I would buy chips for other people, Facts. but it wasn't like something I, I eat personally. And so I was like, why not make my own chips? And it was so good. No, but you remember we put that seasoning on it? Yeah, the all-dress like, seasoning. Yeah. Like, like all dressed chips. I likes to sit in between either her thighs or mine. Get comfy. 
Can she can listen to us talk. But yeah, th- that's kind of our friendship in a in a nutshell. Yeah. But we decided to do a podcast, which is so fun. Why not? Look at us go. Wow. Look at us thrive. Our best lives. And like, I feel like in the podcast, I feel like we're gonna share like us going through our twenties and like, oh, another thing that we both want to do together, and I feel like we'll share our journey is we want to become runners. I. <laughs> How did we start? Oh, at the hangout. At the hangout. Our friend Sarah was like, oh, there was a marathon. And then she said something like, oh, I've always wanted to become a runner. And we were like, I mean, I've always wanted to become a runner. I've always wanted to run. I just sucked at it so much. And I was like. Me too, to be honest. If I'm being honest, like my coworkers, they run. Yeah. But it is intimidating, though. To to be fair, I see them running and I'm like, go off. Go off, queen. We do a lot of cardio. But running. Oh, is let's talk about different. our workouts though. Oh, you're a cycler. I like I like indoor cycling. Yeah, like the with the bikes. Indoor and cycling. I do Zumba. Like that's our kind of cardio. Yeah, and we have a set routine that we go together. Yeah, we go to our classes and yeah. stuff. I pick her up, and then no, she drops me off, and I pick her up on Sundays. Yeah, and and we have our little protein shakes. Yeah, it's so cute. And I feel like we'll we'll do just like obviously podcast while we're chatting, but all I feel like we'll also do like vlogs. And like yeah. showcase our friendship and our crackness at this point, because literally just <laughs> just like thirty minutes ago, what did you do? You were like, "Yes," and then I, said, I ran because ran. I forgot the chips were on the, the freaking stove. stove. I was like, "Let me not burn the chips." Uh, Ugh, but, I have one job. Mm, what were we talking about? Like the runners, runners. Yeah, yeah. Always want to be runners. We said, "Why not try?" Like. Yeah. I don't want to go through life and be like, I wish I did this. I wish I did that. Like, why not? But also, the runner girlies, they just, they, they feel so cool. Honestly, like, ever since I was younger, whenever I saw something. Also, I, run, I heard it's good for you, yeah, good for the heart. It's cheap. Mm. Well, you just need good shoes, but like. Yeah, I don't know what kind of shoes to get yet. I think for now, I'm okay with my shoes that I have. And then if I. Well, you were hating on my shoes. I just saw your cushions were kind of getting soft. <laughs> And I heard you need good cushions for when you run. Okay. I was worried for your feet. Thanks. That's so sweet of you. And I was Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So I, I feel like we want to become runners. And it's yeah. like, we always like switch out. Our re- Actually, every six months or so, we have a new personality. Uh, we signed up for a gym together. Best decision ever made. Best decision we've ever made. We used to go to this one gym. Yeah. And it. <laughs> granted a lot of older people we did not people, go that much no but in our head we did but like a lot of older couples and people go to yeah. that gym yeah um what's funny about it is we did one yoga class and we said she fell asleep i fell asleep in the you yoga class. Asleep? it was a hot yoga class yeah and you know like the at the end it's like a five minute cool down yeah and like you have to heavy breathe and i just felt myself go and then she's like let's sit up i sit up <laughs> and I look, and she. I'm a hoe. I'm out like a light, babe. A little longer, she would have been snoring. I was like, "Someone, someone, <laughs> get out." She's like, "Oh." Huh? And I don't sleep easy. Like no. I'm not a napper. We're not nappers. No. And then mm. that day we decided we're yoga girlies. We and never so went back again. Never went back. And, and I was signing up for another gym at this other time. Well, it's more like classes. Yeah. And they had yoga classes. They had yoga classes. We signed up. The, no. We were there like, oh, yeah, we do yoga. We used to do yoga all the time. We look we back. Once. We went once. We're those girlies that, like, what we do, we make it our personality. Oh, yeah. Um, And it's almost been a year since we've signed up for the gym. It has. Mm-hmm. So at least our new, our new personality lasts more than six months. No, but I think that gym was the best decision we ever made. And I've we always... Were looking for I was, we weren't looking for a gym. We were looking yeah. for classes. And in Toronto, like, I would do powerlifting and Zumba classes, like, in my school gym. And I absolutely loved it. But then when I moved back, I couldn't find anywhere that had Zumba classes. We were looking into a new gym together. And also, mm-hmm. like, it is... Like, it has Zumba classes and then you tried out cycling. Mm-hmm. And... I feel like now we have our cart. Well, now we're just adding more cardio. I was about to say we have our cardio. I I, I do weights in there, and I know my little the, the three little pounds two three don't, pounds. don't don't do anything. But if you've ever done a rhythm and beats class, a cycling class, yeah, those arms. Mm. Are mm. Dead. One think- day though, we are gonna switch. 
Like I'm gonna go to your class. We're gonna, yeah. We have to do. It. I want to try. I want to see it. But I I saw. So I I peeked close. Y'all are really peddling, and I don't know if I can but do it's that. It's not as like. I don't want to say it's not as difficult as it looks. I just I think it's it's fun, and I think okay. you just don't realize that how. Obviously, my first two classes, I was like dying. Dying. And I, was, I love my Zumba I was, class. I was I was in pain, mm-hmm. but it's like it's it's a normal. Wait, but now we're adding thing. more running, like more cardio. But I think it's fine. I have my personal training like twice a month, so that's like my muscle. But we do want to add like on Saturdays, one yeah. on Saturdays, like a workout where we're targeting different areas. Yeah. Um, oh, and we'll do an episode talking all about health stuff because Ooh, we've we went, it. we've been through it um, in different forms. At the same time. Yeah. Our tea phase? Ooh, we'll, we'll get into that another episode. Um, but let us know also what you guys want to see on here because we got, we can yap for days. Um, but yeah, we decided we want to get into running and I'm actually excited. Like I've been seeing a bunch of videos on TikTok and like, they wear that runner vest and They're the so shoes cute. and they have so and, much fun yeah like i very much at this point in my life i i know we're not that old and i'll but add like, the clip but like we were testing how we look running mm-hmm. well i have the clip of me testing you myself cute. running my my boobs and my ass okay. jiggling period no do you remember when i was drilling in my shells and i was facetiming <laughs> i was facetiming her and like i feel at one point you just went dead silent or something and you were like your ass is looking good. And you're like, oh, I'm just putting my PJs. Oh, yeah. I took a screenshot. I said to you, I was like, look, look. Zam. I um, am lying. I'm not lying. Eh. Anyways. But yeah, so we want to become runners. And that's like our new personality that you will probably hear us yap about. But now that we've talked about it, it has to become a thing. Like I've told. Like, but I feel like they'll keep us accountable now. Like and I I, I've been talking about it. And I'll just be too embarrassed. But also, like, almost everyone that I've talked about, oh, like me and my bestie want to become runners. They're like, you're brave. I'm like, ooh, okay. To be fair, every time I saw somebody running, I'm like, go off, go off, go off. Especially I when they're think. like waking up at like 4 a.m. to go running. I'm like, damn, go off, queen. Yeah. Wait, what's other personalities that we've had together? We have our tea phase. We had our tea phase. Yeah. We had our coffee phase. They were frappuccinos. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about like the frappuccino thing yes. or when we actually did our coffee? No, the that frapp- coffee. The frapp was oh, the first time. That didn't I last as long as I thought. But it our lasted- coffee phase, like my caramel macchiato and vanilla latte, that lasted at least a year. I'm still, I still like vanilla latte. Yeah, I still like my coffee. It was just adding up, y'all. Yeah. We'll do a thing all about money because, girl, we bought on a budget. Mm. Other phases have we had? No, there were, when I say tea phase, it was a phase where we we drank tea. We were like, I love tea. I'm so obsessed we're with so, tea. We're tea girlies. We like in our like little mugs. But also, we had like yeah, trouble we going were. to the bathroom, what, which so, is what we call tea. Yeah, it was the nice way of saying because it. there was that tea that like helps you, you know, detox. Go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. and oh, and that messed up my system. Yeah, it messed us both yeah. up pretty bad, yeah. but. That was another phase. Um, what other phase? Our hobby you? phase. When no, we left high school, I feel so much better now. Because when we left high school, we were like, "What do we do for fun? Like, all we do is work, school, whatever." Organize. We used to organize each other's closets for fun. Oh my god, I forgot do you about that. that? Do you yeah. Cluttering your closet, organizing. Wait, them? but what hobbies did we try? Okay, so when we, I remember trying coloring. Mm-hmm. Making bracelets, uh, puzzles. Um, and I remember that one time we were in the restaurant and we were there like, we have no hobbies. We, no hobbies. we don't do nothing for fun. It was really sad. I was like, our no hobby way. was getting our, oh, our nail phase. We got our nails done like every two weeks. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like, the, our nails were thin as hell. We were very much people pleasers. But like, I got out of the Delulu a little bit before you and I was oh, like, no, this. No, and she was like, they were literally like like the poor nail tech like she would she would do my nails and i and, she, and we would and be I, like because they're so thin because they were so thin and i was in pain but it and, just felt nice because we were doing something for ourselves like, she was like are you okay and i was like yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, we're fine um, um so that was going. our now i do my nails at home and like she she does my I nails do, from time to time yeah, as well but that was another phase of ours that I just wish I knew how girlies like go to the nail salon like weekly or high monthly. maintenance girlies. But how do you do that in your nail? Because we did that and our nails were like dead. 
I don't know. I think they do something special for sure. Yeah. So we've had many phases. Mm -hmm. We are people that like things become our personalities and we just like, we go full force on things. Okay, well, what are your hobbies now? Because listen, we've come a long way. We used to cry and say we don't have hobbies. We don't do anything Anything for fun. fun. We don't do anything for ourselves. We are people pleasers. Oh, we had a people please effect. Well, that was our whole life, basically. We're better now. Like, way better. Yeah. But also, we don't have people around to please. Ooh. Oh, what was that that sound, the TikTok sound about people pleasing? It was like, Who have you oh. pleased? <laughs> Who's pleased with you? And I was I'm like, sorry. Oh, sir. Sir, back up. Okay, you don't have to attack me like that. I was like, listen. Damn. I think they're pleased. <laughs> But yeah, so we've had many phases. We've been through a yeah. lot in the eight years that we've been together. But I feel like we are at the point where we're now enjoying our lives and not like yeah, because there was a certain point too where like I know you too. Like we mm-hmm. would go to the gym and it was like for a specific goal. Now we go to the at least well, I both of us it was weight loss. Yeah, and now we both go to the gym because we enjoy it. And it's so much fun. And I think like I wish somebody would have told me if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. Yeah because it's such a real fact like if you don't enjoy doing something don't do it don't do it for what but who are you pleasing with that literally (laughs) so i feel like well my hobbies are reading legos um tv shows tv shows movies YouTube. youtube and yeah it's mainly like entertainment wise like watching youtube and then watching tv shows and movies movies less um and then mainly reading and doing legos i don't do legos as much because i have like a whole town and i really went off and now i don't really have as much sets that i want but like those are i guess like daily ish would be like watching youtube videos and reading Mm -hmm. and then what would you say are your hobbies i do read i I, from time to time i've 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 dialed down i I feel like i've grabbed her into reading i like reading i just i think you don't have time. I don't have time. I'm a busy to girl. Sometimes. Yeah, like it's, I'm very much like always on the go doing what I You know what idea. hobby is you? Baking. I love baking and cooking. She's it's a baker. Such, She's a cook I love girl. Doing it. Like, it's, She's a chef. She do what she needs to do, babe. Elizabeth is my inspiration. I want to be her. I want to be her so bad. So bad. Like, that's like, my dream. And those babies are so cute. Oh, they're adorable. You so, know, like, yeah. I want to I wanna be a hard, you know, what's it called? A hardworking woman, yeah. independent. I mean, but a housewife sounds real nice right about now. I love cooking and baking. My only issue is I don't get to do it because I can't make twelve dozen muffins for like if for I, one. If I make muffins because I'm in the mood to make muffins, that you go that, feed. That's, that's like for six months. That, well, a month. Okay, if I make like <laughs> one like yeah. batch of muffins, it lasts me like a month, and even then, maybe a little longer. And it's like, you know, it's it's. It's so kind of long, yeah. yeah. So I do enjoy, but it's still it's still a hobby. Yeah, I feel like that's something that I see you enjoy and like really I like. I do enjoy. It. I've tried a lot of things, and I think I'm gonna... baking, cooking, yeah, is nice. exactly. And you collected like cooking books or baking books. What are they called? Cooking books? No, I think I bought like Cookbooks. two, and the rest you bought me. Yeah, I bought you a lot of things. Yeah. Um. Oh, should we talk favorites? You know what made me think of it? Because I got her a Disney cookbook, and you're yeah. a Disney girly. I am. I am. What would be Thanks. your equivalent for me? Like you, it's Disney. But what would be my equivalent? But I'm not like I like Disney, but I'm not like a not, not a Disney collect- yeah. yeah, I'm not a collector. I I wish I was. I tried to be. Um, it's a lot. It's expensive. Oh, granted, hobbies are expensive. No one talks about it's that. It's expensive, and like I don't necessarily, I I I don't like having a lot of things in my home. Yeah, facts. and they just took up a lot of space, and it just wasn't for me. Yeah, I I got to like slimming down the house because yeah. Oh, and I guess we'll also talk about like living on our own and like all that kind of stuff in an adulting. Oh, Legos is is like the equivalent because yeah. we, because it's not like you can buy any Legos. It's not like yeah. you can buy any Disney. Like it's like very much. But like- also, I'm thinking for you in the sense of like Disney movies, Disney TV okay, shows. Like yeah. there's a lot more fields, whereas like. For me, I can't think of something that's like big like that. But there is one Yoda, Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. But I don't watch Star Wars, so like I can't say no. I, I have the full. But thing. whenever I see Baby Yoda, I'm like I should just get it for her for because it's so cute. And it's the same thing for you, like when you see something like Disney, Disney like, run, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. 
Um, but yeah, look at us go. Look at us thriving. Yeah, we're trying to thrive in our twenties. We're twenty three, by the way. Twenty. If we didn't say it. And how's that going for you? Mm. Hmm? Cause twenty three is a little rough for me. I I want that number flipped already. Thirty two. I need to be thirty two now. <laughs> Listen, I heard we have to do an episode all about life plans, though. I heard that in your thirties, it's like the best years of your life. Well, I thought I was gonna be thriving in my twenties. That's what they say, and then I I I, and then... I feel like it's the hardest because it's like you're supposed yeah. to do everything. You're supposed to have kids. You're they supposed say to get married. Twenties are like your like the biggest thing, but then the people who are now the pressure's in their 30s, off. Yeah. They're like, no, your 20s are not it. It's your 30s. Yeah. Also, the pressure's off. Yeah. And also, like, you're out of uni for a while. You kind of have your base done in your 20s. Find a job after that. Like, I was lucky, but, like, there's a lot of people that are not lucky Mm -hmm. after they graduate. Facts. Facts. It's rough out here sometimes. But I feel like now you guys know more of our friendship. Yeah. And... We'll just go from there. I feel like a couple episodes that we were thinking, what were them? Like, we want to talk about obviously being in your 20s, living alone, Mm -hmm. um, health stuff, and, like, how we went through all that, anxiety, depression, Mm -hmm. um, mental health, because that's a big thing for us, and we always talk about it. Yeah. And we're reps for that. Um, Also, books, TV shows. We need to do a Bridgerton episode. And wear gowns. Like, think about it. Or, like, just dress and be all cute and, like, have a crown. I don't even have a crown, but, like. I used to have a crown. We could have, like, designated episodes like that. That could be so that fun. That could be fun, yeah. Talk about our favorite books, what we're talking, what we're watching. Yeah. We could have, like, di- different segments that are in each episode and play games and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, that could be fun. That could be fun, yeah. Ah! <laughs> but, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this new segment. I feel like we'll probably upload, like. For sure on a Wednesday because that's our day. Yeah. But we don't know the like frequency yet. Mm. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy. How how should we like end off our episodes? I know. Did we want to do the finger thing? Because we, when I end my videos, it's like a. Okay. So bye. We, should we explain the finger thing first? How did that? Oh, me. That's me. So thing. I don't. I don't like physical touch. Yeah. And. But that's something that I do because I always. You did that to a lot of people first. I always. Cause I'm just a weirdo and I always like to see how people will react to my weirdness. If they go with it, then I'm like, okay, you're my people. If you are kind of like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe we don't click. And my thing to see if we, we on the same page is I'll just stick out my finger like this. Mm-hmm. If you touch it and you know, then I'm like, okay, we won. If you're looking at me like the hell, then, you know, so I feel like I did that once yeah. with you and, and like, then oh. that became our thing and that's something that's like pretty minimal because like yeah you're not a big physical touch person no. i'm not a big physical touch person but there's some people that i'm okay with yeah and some people that i'm like yeah i'm not a i'm not a like i'm pretty person. socially anxious even though i seem very i mean i'll let people hug me i don't want to like be <laughs> rude and be like, don't hug me. I but don't it like makes me want to hug you more. I know. That's why I don't say because yeah. people are just going to want to hug me more. So I just, I kind of like suck it up and hug them back. Yeah. But it's like not my favorite thing to do. Yeah. But I don't want to make people uncomfortable. So I, like, so I feel like that's our little middle ground. Yeah. So I feel like we should end it off like that. But like we started like saying like, welcome to Sweet La, mm-hmm. host Swana Mila. Mm-hmm. But like, how should we end it off? Thank you for listening. And. See you next time. And then, like, bye. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Well, thank you for listening. It's been amazing. Has thank it? you for listening to the Swila podcast with your host, Sawana and Mila. Okay. Bye. Oh, who's going to reach? Oh, are we going to be? Able I'm to stuck. Oh, okay. Wait, no. How about we? Huh? And then I go. Is that weird? I don't Wait, know. okay. Um, thank you for listening. Okay. Oh, then no. thank you for listening to the Swila podcast with your hosts, Juana and, and Mila. Bye. Hello, testing, testing. Ah! 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 Man. Men, 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 trash, men, trash, men. Trash, <laughs> trash, <laughs> trash. Okay. I got like. Would you get? Do you ever just get like? <laughs> Wait, what did you say that was like? Um, 
oh, a mosquito in my ass. And I'm there like, is that a sound? And you're like, is that a sound? And I was like, no, nah, bitch. A mosquito bit my fucking ass. Welcome to our podcast. <laughs> Welcome to our podcast. Um, wait, what was my intro? Uh, it was a nice one. Sweet Welcome to oh. Suila. We should say at the same time. One, well, oh. two, three. Welcome, Welcome to, to Suila with your host Suana and Mila. Period. Ah. Oh. Um. Today we're gonna talk all about our friendship and how we started as oh. one, as union. How long was it? Oh. Eight. I eight always years. think eight. Is it actually eight? Yeah, because 2016. 2016. We. I think we've established that we should just keep it at 2016 because we couldn't pinpoint exactly. Well, it's whatever. Whenever that field trip was. Did we start? Loki, we did. <laughs> okay, now let's see. Okay. Oh, let me just turn this off first. But at least that's good so we can tell with it on and then off. Turn it off. Okay, off. Mine's, mine's off. Okay, so okay, now we so, talk. Yeah, we're Lottie just living dude. our best life. We're living and, our best. You know, we take it day by day. Some days it's rough. Real rough. But What did I say today? I was like... Work is getting in the way Wait, of, of my like chores. chores and daily activities. Um, yeah. But sometimes life just gets in the way of work. Yeah. Yeah, two different And, things. you know. <laughs> All right, that's enough talking. Oh, Let's just talk. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Because you remember how loud our cast. Which is just where we just chat, chat. about life. And yeah. like, welcome to. It's about time. This is your host, Suwana and. Mila. Period. Ah. Uh. <laughs> But now we're, we're, we're like less loud. Because I'm scared to like jump the mic. And I love this little tiny mic. It's so, it's cute. so cute. Oh my God, look at our matching it outfit. It makes me feel like a giant oh. in my 411 body. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, testing, testing. Ah! 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 Man. Men, 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 men. Trash, 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 trash